Okay, so I may have kept my hair slicked for too long. I mean, no one really gives you a guide to how long you're supposed to wear a slick style. I'm definitely getting the feeling I've abused whatever guide there is. Honestly, time just got away from me and I did one slick style one week and then the next week happened and it was so much easier to just slick it back up, put it away, and here we are now. And I've worn this style for about three weeks or so. I've just been re-slicking it. So today is all about renewal and fixing hair repair. Say it with me people, hair repair. So this is kind of an emergency wash day. Not to mention it is now officially fall slash winter time, which means dry hair. Cause I have not been to the beauty supply store in a minute and like bought new products. I usually just buy a bunch of refills of the products that I like using. I wanted to try some new things today. So we're gonna try some new things today. But first things first, I need to wash all of this gel out of my hair. And I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bunch of masks actually this is repair day we're not playing around the inside is so soft and the outside is like the crunchiest thing ever look at that look at that it's like brittle <laughs> this whole layer is like glued together So that was just our initial kind of wetting to get all of that, um, it was a lot of gel I had, gel buildup in my hair. And basically I'm pre-pooing to detangle because I didn't really detangle yet. I'm going to use some of this tried and true Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. I'm going to use this just to detangle and kind of comb out my hair. slicked up for the past like month maybe no product except for got to be and gel so you know <laughs> just cute girly things look at least i'm honest and i can admit i have not been taking the best care of my hair it's like literally either or either i'm really on it and i'm like on top of my hair care regimen like wash days every other week mask drinking and eating what i need to or nothing at all like i just won't wash my hair it'll be slicked up or braided up i won't touch it oil it nothing i want to be one of those natural hair girlies that's like like it's a part of her dna she just does it naturally i know my hair would flourish more if i did and once i just commit i feel like it'll you know become second nature but i have trouble with the committing part because <sighs> I don't know. I'm working on it. That'll definitely be on my resolution for this year. <laughs> I was gonna show you guys how much hair. I'm almost embarrassed to show you how much hair came out, but whatever. We're all friends here, right? Let me try to ball it up to make it look smaller. <laughs> this is the hair loss. It's not terrible, but like this is like hair I would usually after having my hair in braids or something so it's not great that's what today is about it's being honest with ourselves and <laughs> fixing our hair putting back into it i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then i'm gonna make my mixture which is just gonna be a very simple apple cider blah, 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 can't talk apple cider vinegar it's really just gonna be water apple cider vinegar and then aztec clay mask
pop in if y'all could feel the hair right now so soft my roots are fully growing out so next i'm gonna do a deep conditioner and i decided to try some of those little um to go packs that you get at the cashier register these are two brands i have tried before so one is camille rose their algae renew deep conditioning mask cocoa and mango butter and then I thought I'd mix it because I really wanted to use this peppermint leave-in conditioner it's by OK. It hydrates, softens, and refreshes. And it's got shea butter, almond oil, and tea tree. I feel like I'm going to put the Camille Rose one in first and then I'm going to put the peppermint one in second and really work that one into my roots. Listen, there's a narrative going around here. Crime is out of control. If you look at crime, it's at 2018 total bang. That's a lot of memory. up some of this aunt jackie's i really like their brand this is a trusted brand in this household Buttercream cream intensive moisture salient supposed to be really good for hydration unique leave-in conditioning therapy for chronically dry hair i think chronically dry is a little much okay not chronically dry i'm currently dry i am just going to put this throughout my hair mainly i just want to get this product in mm -hmm. 